Hi, there is so many intelligent robots exist today. However, in the future, with the help of quantum computing, robots can learn so much faster and become more intelligent. Because of the advantages that quantum computers have like superposition and entanglement that I will explain with a real example. In this project, I'm using IBM's quantum computer with an open source SDK named Qiskit. As you can see, I'm connecting a real quantum computer to my laptop via internet. And after that, connecting my laptop to the Arduino that controls a simple robot. To be able to use IBM's quantum computer, you should create an IBM ID account. After that, it gives you an API token. We will use that token in the code. Moreover, you should install Qiskit package. Okay, first I'm importing Qiskit and Serial. In this line, you can paste your API token. This line is for cellular communication parameters. Here building a quantum circuit with 5 qubits. And here we put 4 of the qubits in the superposition state. 4 classical bits can make 16 different combinations, but one combination at a time. 4 qubits that are in superposition state can represent all of the possible combinations at the same time. This line is for creating entanglement between Q0 and Q1. So even if we separated these qubits light years away, measuring one qubit claps the superposition and appears to have an immediate effect on the other one. And this line is for measuring qubits and storing the results in the five classical bits. When a qubit gets measured, become definite state of 0 or 1. And here, loading account and specifying the name of the quantum computer that I use. After that, getting the results from quantum computer. Finally, printing the results and sending them to the Arduino. The quantum computer that I have access to has only 5 qubits. Not much can be done with 5 qubits for controlling a robot, but like everything else, we have to start somewhere. So I decided with Q0 control the robot's right arm in such a way that if Q0's value is 0, that means right arm should be down, and if Q0's value is 1, right arm should be up, and Q1 controls the left arm in the same way and because q0 and q1 are entangled they should have same value every time so if we separate these two arms with a long distance and control them with q0 and q1 they must behave the same simultaneously and i'm using q2 q3 and q4 to control robot's mouth in such a way that 000 means mouth should be closed and 111 means the mouth should be fully open. Ok, let's run the code. Because other people also using this quantum computer, getting the results may take a while. Ok, as you can see, Q0 and Q1 are 1, so robot's arms go up, and Q2, Q3, Q4 are 0, so robot's mouth stays closed. Let's run it again. This time robot's arms stay down and mouth opens 30 degrees. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more projects like this.